<laughs> Todd, welcome to Columbia again. We saw you here for the Georgia game. Uh, you've seen Drew Locke now in person. What do you uh, here at the Pro Day make of, uh, of the mechanics and, and how this is going to translate to the next level? I thought he was really good today. I was impressed. I mean, he, he's got a wow factor to him because of the arm strength that he brings. His ability to, um, to drive the ball vertically, and it's obvious. Uh, I think when you look at mechanically, I, I think you can see now if he has his feet right and his base right, how accurate he can be. I mean, he wasn't perfect. He missed in, in the strike zone a few times, but but overall, I mean, it's it was an impressive showing, and and clearly he's headed in the right direction mechanically. Where does where is he in this pecking order of quarterbacks? A lot of speculation, and, and where, where do you see him going right now? Yeah, if, if we assume that Kyler Murray goes one to Arizona, if that if all of that rumor and bluster is true, then then I think it, it's really starts to come down. I think it's a little bit more 50-50 than people think between Dwayne Haskins of Ohio State and, and Locke. So um, the Giants pick at 6. They pick again at 17. In between that, you've got Denver. I don't know if they're, if they're committed to trying to use their first-round pick now. Um, but you've got 13 Miami, 15 Washington. So there, there are enough teams in the, in the top 15 that I, I feel pretty confident uh, guessing that he's going to wind up going in the in the top 15. If he slips past that top 15, what kind of teams are we looking at that could probably potentially take him as a, an heir apparent to maybe a, a Philip Rivers in San Diego? Or yeah, I mean, Angeles? you mentioned one. Um, well, obviously the Giants come back up again, as I mentioned, at 17. Um, the Patriots, you know, Brady can't play forever, I don't think. Roethlisberger, you know what's going on there in Pittsburgh. So there are enough teams that are looking for the future that if he got down there, I think that you'd see some movement where teams would try, try to move up to go get him. You've seen this Mizzou team in person. Um, they went 8-4. and four. How do you, you know, you see the talent out here, Emmanuel Hall, um, you know, kind of nursing an injury, Terry Beckner Jr., not sure where he's going to go. But when you look at this, the talent out here just for this pro day, how, you, how do you feel like Barry Odom's building this program? I think it's getting better every year. I think next year you won't, Probably have the the media coverage because there won't be a Drew Lock, but um, but but I think there's going to be I think there will be more pro prospects. I think I think it's moving in that direction. Awesome.